Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio Gallery and you're looking at a 10 by 20 inch canvas and a container that I'm just resting another container in. Could be anything. This happens to be the bottom of half of an al rubbing alcohol container, but I think the bottom of a little pint, pint, pint containers of milk or whatever you happen to use would work fine. And it doesn't have to be this way. It could, it could be the whole bottom because I'm going to put my paint in there. And the paint that I'm going to use right now, I believe, are going to be my peak, mm, if they'll come out, are going to be similar to that peacock feather. But I'd like them all to come out, and I just came out of the house after having all these bottles open. So bear with me for just a moment. And I'll use my tweezers and free that up. And whatever else comes next. So I thought I was going to put them in order. And it would be really nice if that wouldn't blow away, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to blow away if I'm not careful. So I'm going to use this bronzy color. It's not really coming out. And they're odd combinations for sure. But I figure if I put them all in there, they're going to come out of there. I'm shaking all my paint. I keep a marble in my bottles so I can shake my paint up. They're not in order, but they're definitely giving the impression. Whoa. Of what I want. And do I start over again? I kind of want some more of that right there. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Okay, so keep my feather from blowing away. Give my canvas a little coating of. I don't think I need to worry about that too much. Damp rag. Little black paint. I might want some gold. I might want some of that orange, that green gold. Excuse me, that's 24 karat gold with a little orange in it. So rather than pour this paint like I would normally onto a dry canvas that's been primed, I'm going to see what happens when we have a nice wet canvas. Looks like I need a little more paint. Fortunately, the Oxo Omelette Turning Spatula can make short, short work of most needs by just stealing a little from here and there. And the thinner it is, the faster it's going to dry. So I better move because it's like 90 degrees out here. I was going to pour a wide ribbon pour and then tip and I think I'm still going to do that just as soon as I get rid of most of the paint right off the blade of my spatula and throw it in the bucket all right so here goes nothing and if I notice that I have not enough of one color I'll just put it in. And what else? I think that turquoise is magnificent. Let's see how far we can make that go. I see that thing that does not belong in there, and usually I have a pair of tweezers here somewhere. That looks like a bubble, but just in case it's not. I still want some gold. I'm not sure where that thing was I thought I saw. I really like that coppery, that bronze color. think there's my tweezers on the other side. I'm going to use it I 
I'm just going to follow the colors that I've got here already that I like because I like them. Makes sense. I'm going to let them flow right onto my edge catcher. And then I may take them off again with an OXO omelet turning spatula. I got things flying around me, so if I get a little weird, understand. So I'm also going to take every bit of paint that has now relaxed into the bottom of that container and add it, because chances are good in a moment I'm going to tip that down onto the edge catcher again. That's almost empty. That's good. I'm always craving purple. <laughs> this is not any different. Just going to let... Whoop! Right into my hand. Okay. <laughs> I think I have one too many of these on here. That's not helpful right now. This was supposed to be for beginners. I really want some of this golden orange. And I think I'm going to blow it around with a straw. Let everything just flow over. Wherever it drips, I can pick it up again. I still want some purple. And I don't want that edge catcher blown away. And I've got that purple right over here. I did not even pull that out today. I'm liking that. Really want some more of that orange. I'm a lot nervous about that wind because I know it's going to pick something up pretty quick here. So I'm trying to show you guys you can actually manipulate your, your painting and pour your paint off and still use it again by having something to catch it. It's really nice if nothing blew into my painting right about now. Things are blowing everywhere. <laughs> so I just squashed the edge of that. I'm going to show you guys quickly how that I don't lose anything else. Oh please. Thank you very much. So I'm going to take all of that paint, <laughs> I think, as long as I can hold on to everything. No, don't blow away. Thank you. slightly mixed up colors to add some interest. And I'm really wishing that edge catcher would stay right where it's at. And they are peacock colors except for the purple. And I am looking at it as though, you know, what should I, what else can I put in there that I want to see? But I'm so nervous about everything blowing away right now. I'm thinking 
Maybe a little white won't hurt me. used any gold yet. I kind of like that white. I'm also thinking about magenta with the iridescent pearl fine in it. just because I can. And I'm going to grab myself a new skewer. And I think I'm going to have to grab myself a little bit of black because I see that there are places paint is already dry. I want some more of that purple. Didn't necessarily want it splattering over there, but sometimes you get what you get. see what a little bit of the purple with the gold and the Anita's white metallic you're going to do. And I'm still not happy well, I'm happy-ish, but I'm still not as happy as I could be. So, yes, that's better. I'm going to lead the eye from one side to the other. And now I'm happier, and I'm getting closer to my goal. I'm going to grab a little more black. Like I said I would put it where I need to put it right now while I still can before it's too late. It's very, very warm out here. I can cover the edges. I can't cover the top as easily. I like those little dots, actually. I don't mind that gold dot up there either. Makes me think maybe I could get away with some more of those. But they add some interest. I see that thing that does not belong. I didn't think about that very much. I'm just trying to work quickly so I don't lose my window. And then I 
just had to play a little bit. I made a little heart. Actually, I'm kind of liking that now. Which is good, because it didn't really go anywhere near the way I was thinking it was going to go. This is a little Prussian blue. That purple, I don't know what it is. I probably mixed the uh, golden pearl iridescent fine in there. I like that. That wind is merciless. But it's keeping it from being incredibly hot. And the humidity is not too awful bad right now. So that's pretty cool. I'm not unhappy with that. I think that little heart's got to go, though. So that's pouring with a uh, carton for a container. I'm going to torch really quickly. I'm going to tell you guys what I always tell you. Well, I think so. I think so. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Took my time, didn't I? So I do sell my artwork, and my email address is below the link tree link underneath Show More. When you click Show, show More underneath the video, you'll find the link tree. And you can find Pinterest and Instagram there, and Twitter links, and all kinds of other interesting things, like my website. And, yeah, I had to destroy that one part, sorry. It's quite the blustery day here, sorry about all the clanking, the chimes. I'm trying to decide if I'm absolutely done before I'm gone, before you're gone. I don't think I mind that much. Although I wasn't expecting that Prussian blue to be on there. And I am holding a torch in my hand. There, I've got a little bit of white and uh, I, I'm pretty happy with most of the things that I've got. I'll say that, you can't trust me. I'm still playing with my colors. But I like making the eye jump around back and forth. And you can do that by moving a color from one side to the other. The torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And sometimes it will release patterns. I'll be touching up my edges with black if Mark needs it after you're gone. That was fun. It was kind of simple for me, but I had to think about it as I went along to decide. I've got one minute left to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you, which is I appreciate your thumbs up. I appreciate you sharing my videos. I really appreciate your wonderful comments to me. Thank you so much for keeping my morale boosted. I appreciate your donations, and if you want to be somebody who's in the monthly drawing for prizes, the, art, the artworks that are being offered, you should look on the end screens on the video, on any video, find out in the exhibition video what, <laughs> perfect timing, what the, <laughs> what the prizes are. I will see you guys in on. This is Priscilla Batsell from Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist and Studio Galleries Inc. Check the Teespring for all over the leggings <laughs> and all over print t-shirts and shop my Amazon link and know how it cost to you. It helps me out. I really appreciate you guys. I love you much. I will see you and on. Bye for now. Please don't forget that thumbs up. Really appreciate it. This is a throwback to stuff I used to do, and I really like it anyway. And you're still here. Which is good, because then you can actually see the whole artwork. I'm so sorry. That was...